All right, y'all, look. Here you go, another one. So, a question is on the 1099A. Everybody keep asking me, like, how does it work? How does it work? How does it work? So, let me explain the three forms that you will need to actually secure the funds. The 1099A is not the form that you actually get the money from. 1099A, acquisition of property, is only used to report that instrument to the federal government. That's not where the money comes from. 1099 OID, original issue discount form, that is what the money come from. So if you properly know how to fill out the form, if you properly know how to you know, put everything where it needs to go, and at the bottom, they're gonna ask your fiduciary agent for their um, they state, and they're gonna ask you for their license. If you got a USA passport, put USA passport. If your um, fiduciary agent is a national citizen, doesn't matter. Um, the 1096 is the um, the summary of every, all the forms that you filed, and on, on that 1096 is ask you how much money are you requesting or whatever the case might be, and you write that out, you send it right to the treasury. Now this is not the full details of how to do the whole process. It just give people an understanding of what form is the money coming from. When you file the 1099 OID, you getting the money from that. You're not getting the money from the 1099A because people file. Plenty of 1099As online, but they only get a report back. That's why um, they send a copy B and copy A. Copy B is going to the lender. Copy C is going to the borrower, which would be you. The fiduciary agent is pretty much working as the middleman. Um, if you don't know how to fill out the forms, um, you can download my book. I'm going to put that uh, in the link.